Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. How are you? It is B, and we are here to go over your April 2024 monthly reading. Woo, what are we going on with Capricorns? Thank you so much for all your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I really do appreciate it. And for those of you that wish to subscribe to my channel, please make sure you click on that subscribe button and ensure that your notifications are activated. For those of you wishing to get a reading with me or donate to my channel or even get a membership on my website, you can certainly go to the links below and they will guide you in the right direction. Bottom of the deck is two of cups. I saw that, so I had to say something. So you are Capricorns, many of you are re-establishing or making more solid an exclusive relationship in your life, whether it's business or work, business or romance, sorry. Lovely. Okay, let's go ahead and pray over the deck. All right, general energies, home and family life, love life and romantic life and work life and social life. What are your clarifiers? First card, second card, third card, fourth card. Very good. Okay. Okay. Capricorns, you understand. A Jupiter and Capricorn. You might as well call me a Capricorn. Ooh. Jupiter is my traditional ruler as a Pisces, and my Jupiter is in Capricorn. My ruler, my traditional ruler, is in Capricorn. All right, Capricorns, what do we got going on with you for your overarching major theme? Let's get your advice. I think those are upside down. Right. There is your major theme or there is your guidance. Okay, Capricorns, what do we have going on with you for April 2024? First card out is general energies, the high priestess. You could be dealing with a Pisces or an Aquarius, someone who has psychic abilities. Uh, this could be you listening to your higher self as well. This could be secrets. This could be things that you're kind of keeping to yourself. Um, for example, maybe you had a situation in your life where things weren't so good, okay? And you're saying, well, people don't need to know about that. I don't want them to know about that. Uh, it's something I've dealt with, I've handled, and you're handling it. And nobody needs to know about it, period. You didn't do anything wrong. You didn't do anything untoward. You didn't do anything immoral or unethical. So therefore, you are like, okay, this may look a certain way to other people. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep on keeping on. I've handled it. It's done. It's over. I'm not going to worry about it. But why is this energy here for the general energy? The lovers. Oh boy. Yeah. Capricorn. 
So Capricorn, what's going on here is that there could have been an interfering party. There could have been um, a third party situation. There could have been an interfering party, someone trying to get in between you and somebody else in a business partnership or a romantic partnership. You may have a secret love for someone else. Uh, but what I am definitely getting here is that you are in a committed, exclusive and loyal bond with someone. And like I said, there may have been an interfering third party, but what you're doing right now is you're saying, you know what, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm not going to expose that. I'm not going to put that out there. And I am going to focus on my exclusive and loving bond with somebody. And even though there may have been a little bit of a roller coaster ride, I'm going to make sure that everybody understands that everything's good to go. Everything is fine. There's no situation. There's no issue here. And I'm just going to make sure that people understand that. For some of you, there is a uh, someone who has contacted you to work for them. You may be at a different uh, location or a different job and you're like, oh, I am interested in that job. So I'm going to look outside of where I am right now in order to see what that job entails. Because I'm seeing for a lot of you here, this is job related and you are looking for a better employer or you're looking for a better situation. For many of you Capricorns, this could have been in the past. This may have been a past situation where someone was trying to interfere or they caused interference or they caused some drama you also realize that perhaps you or someone else uh, contributed to this and you are keeping this under wraps because you know that you know what this entailed you know that someone may have been looking for something more from you, even though you were in an exclusive relationship with somebody else. And um, you just handled it. You just took care of it. In the month of April. Or before. This could also be for some of you Capricorns that you are going to uh, counseling uh, for a love relationship to ensure that uh, you're both being heard, you are both being listened to, uh, both sides of the story are being put out there. Some of you might be keeping an exclusive relationship secret, like you don't want anybody else to know about it. For some of you, you had a conversation with your significant other about a potential third party interference. That won't be happening again. You've decided to let things in the past stay in the past. And again, a Pisces or an Aquarius may have something to do with this. What is your home and family life like? Four of Cups. For some of you, you went through a period of feeling like there was no love. Maybe even a period where you felt like you couldn't love someone else. 
your idea of family, your idea of home was perhaps for some of you boring. For others of you not lining up with what it is you wanted to create in the home and the family. You had love for somebody, somebody had love for you, but you weren't feeling the love or they weren't feeling the love. It could be a child, anything relating to home and family. But why is this energy here? Three of Cups. Yeah. Somebody thought, perhaps, that friends were more important than the relationship. It was more important to be with friends than give time or energy to the relationship. There is a realization here, Capricorn, in the month of April that the friends, perhaps, that you are hanging out with or someone else is hanging out with caused a sense of loss, boredom, uh, frustration, consternation. It could have been any of those things. In the month of April, Capricorn, it could be that you feel as though there is an energy of wanting to be with a significant other, a wife, a husband, uh, someone uh, that's living with you, uh, anything like that, like, like, you have a feeling of, I wish they were here. I wish they were here. I wish they were here. I miss them. Many of you Capricorns are feeling like you're missing somebody. But it's almost like Capricorn, like you don't want to let them know. There's a feeling of, gosh, I miss this person. I want to be with this person, but I don't want to tell them that I miss them or I want to be with them. You know, Capricorn, pride comes before a fall. <laughs> you know this, all right? And um, put your pride aside. It's really time to celebrate. It's time to express yourself. Some of you Capricorns are staying out of the social groups. And the reason you're staying out of the social groups is because you don't want any secrets out there or drama coming from a partner, a significant other, you don't want anybody to think like there's a third party situation. You're, you're being pretty strict with yourself right now. What is going on with love and romance? Seven of swords reversed. Yeah, Capricorn. You are no longer sneaking around. Somebody else is no longer sneaking around. Somebody may have gotten caught in a situation. It's time to return things to their rightful owner, whatever that means for you. If any of you Capricorns were doing something untoward, you were doing something questionable, uh, you were doing something immoral or unethical, uh, you are realizing the error of your ways or someone else is. But why is this here? King of Cups. 
a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or an Aquarius. An Aquarius and Pisces did come up here. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. This may also be in your chart. You may be looking back on a situation saying, I am never going to do that again. I'm never going to put myself in that position again. I am never going to uh, make it look a certain way. I'm not going to give anybody fodder. I'm not going to give anybody, you know, two quarters thinking that I'm something that I am not. This Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Aquarius may be the reason why you have decided to stop with the sneaking around, stop with the, the fibbing, stop with the hiding or the secrecy, possibly about an intimate relationship. that you had outside of a relationship, I think for many of you, I, I don't necessarily know for sure, Capricorn, if you did anything wrong. I What I'm seeing here is I don't see you being like immoral or unethical. I do see you keeping secrets from a partner, possibly for some of you. But if that was going on, whoever this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Aquarius is, they have brought some sort of energy into the situation where you are saying, I am done with that now. I'm not going to do that anymore. I know better. I was caught. I have to look at my integrity within a situation and what I did to create the situation or what they did to create the situation. Whether you're single or coupled, that's the energy coming through here. So what is going on with work life and social life? 10 of pentacles, Capricorns, you gotta love this. Rebuilding. If there was a situation where you got caught, if there was a situation where um, maybe you did something against your better judgment and you know it and you've taken accountability for it, you're rebuilding right now. You are rebuilding new social relationships. You are rebuilding work, finances, and it looks good. Raises, promotions, money coming in. Friends and family supporting you. You supporting them. Great energy, but why is this here? Aw, Six of Cups. Soulmate relationship. You know you're in a relationship with a soulmate. For some of you, um, you've been through a lot. You've been through the fire. You've been on the roller coaster ride. All of that. And something is going on in their social life or something is going on in your social life to bring more stability into a situation. This could be children. So children, maybe you work with children. Uh, maybe you're helping out a friend with children. And that energy is coming in to bring in a lot more stability. For them or for you. What is your overarching theme, Capricorn? The fool, yeah. Somebody was foolish and they know they were. They did something they shouldn't have done and now they're regretting it. 
they're regretting it. And they kept secrets. And now they're saying, whoa, do I want to lose everything that I've worked for? Absolutely not. But for others of you, you could be going on this new beginning, this new chapter, this new enthusiastic adventure. Traveling light, discovering the world. But your conscious is here. This is your conscience right here. This is the angel on the shoulder. But there's no, there's no devil on the other shoulder. This is the angel saying, hey, just want to let you know, Capricorn. This is what you need to do in order to bring stability and the Ten of Cups. In order to walk away from situations that compromise a relationship. In order to bring more life into the home and into the family. In order to ensure you're not keeping secrets from other people and listening to your higher self. What is your advice, Capricorns? Don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Guess who else had this? Sagges. So you might be a Sag Capricorn Cusper, but don't dim your light to fit in. You know, I'm hearing from many of you Capricorns, you know, you may have had somebody around you that was trying to coerce you into something, that was trying to get you to do something, that was trying to get you in a compromising situation, to get you to keep the secret, to get you to do something that was foolish. And you're like, I am who I am. I am someone who is honest, who is loving, who is compassionate, who is dedicated, who is committed to a business partnership or a romantic partnership. I am not going to sacrifice that. I am not going to compromise that. So you're speaking up about that. Okay. Remember, this could have happened to you last month. This could be happening to you now. You might be having conversations about it now. This could also be happening to you in the month of April. So I just want to let you know that Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. I wish you the best. Make the right decisions for who you are as a person on the inside. You're not a cheater. You're not um, a doppelganger, okay? You make your own way. You are not, you are unique. You do not, over, you, you do not succumb to co coercion or manipulation. You're just going to be who you are the best that you can be. Just be the best that you can be, Capricorn. Okay? All right. This is what I've got for the Capricorns. I wish all of you the best. Much light, much love, many blessings, and catch you on the flip side.